because I'll probably forget. But the reason that I wanted to do this is that I know how big of an impact this business has done for me. And I started when I was 22, you guys. And I don't know if you guys are familiar with what beach body coaching is or you know what Christine's doing. Maybe you've just seen her posting on Facebook and you're like, what is she doing? So I wanted to hop on and share with you guys because you know I I see you know my cousins who are your age and and family friends and stuff like that who have jumped into coaching and are doing amazing things and I went through it as well. So I try to talk to people who are your age about this opportunity because you still have so much time. You know, you're only 22 years old. You guys just graduated from college. I'm assuming the majority of you guys are still, um, or you probably have your first job, like real full-time job, right? Because I know Christine did, or maybe you're like looking for a job and the majority of you guys don't have husbands, right? You don't have anyone else that you really have to worry about. Maybe you have a boyfriend or a girlfriend, but you don't have to worry about someone else, okay? And that gives you all the time in the world to build this business, you guys. But before I get into any of that, I want to just take you guys back to 2009. So you guys were probably, what, in like grade school? <laughs> grade school in 2009? <laughs> That's what I'm like, oh my god, okay, I am kind of old. But 2009 is when I graduated from college, you guys. I got my degree in nutrition from the University of Dayton, Ohio, and I felt like I was on top of the world. You know, you're 22, you're invincible, and I didn't realize that I packed on 30 pounds while I was at college. Now, I don't know if you guys were big partiers. You know, I tried my best to eat healthy and work out, but I also partied, okay? I'm not going to lie. I partied a little too hard. The University of Dayton is known as a party school. And I was, you know, going through a couple different eating disorders and, and just not treating my body right, along with having thyroid issues. And I woke up and I was 30 pounds overweight, you know, and I, I went home and lived with my parents because I didn't get into a dietetic, dietetic internship. Um, I don't know if you guys are familiar with that headaches, but you have to go into a year internship, just like physical therapy, just like medical, any of that stuff. Um, I'll meet us real quick that way. They don't have the background noise because I'm a little bit of a squirrel. They're like, whoop, what's going on? Um, so I had to do a, a one-year internship and I didn't get in. You know, I, I, for the first time in my life, felt like a complete failure. You know, I the University of Dayton is not cheap. My parents don't make a ton of money, but they figured out how to get me there with loans and, you know, really working hard to pay for this school. And I didn't get into the dietetic internship. So I moved back home with my parents. And I don't know if you guys live on your own or if you live with your parents, but when you're 22, you don't want to live with your parents. You don't want to move back and have rules and have you know them waiting up for you when you go out at night and asking you like all the details of your life, especially if you're trying to date, you know? And so I knew that I needed to figure out a way to be able to get out of their house but I had, you know, $100,000 of debt coming at me from school, along with not having a job and feeling pretty crappy about myself. You know, I don't share it a lot, but I was in a, you know, a pretty verbally abusive relationship at the time with, I call him Loser Boy. Loser Boy, who dropped out of the Navy and moved back home to Toledo, Ohio, uh, where I was living. And it was just a bad situation. I didn't have any... You know, I didn't have the self-esteem that I needed to get out of that relationship. I was 30 pounds overweight. It was just a tough time, you guys. I didn't have any money to my name, and I had $100,000 coming at me, okay? So I was kind of forced into going back to get my master's in public health nutrition, which I really didn't want to do, but my mom said, that's going to hold off the student loans. Now, I don't know if you guys have started to pay for your student loans quite yet, or maybe you're still in school, so you don't have to, but when you start getting those uh, bills in the mail, you guys, that's like the worst feeling in the world, especially when you don't have the money to pay for them, you know? So I was like, okay, I'm going to go back to school, and that's going to slow down those payments, right? Because if you're going to school, you can, I forget the words, but you can pretty much hold off on paying your, your student loans. So I did that, and 
I went to school and I got a master's in something that I really didn't want, you guys. But the cool thing is that my coach, Janelle Summers, came into my life at this time. This time when I needed positive people around me, when I needed people who weren't going out and eating crap and drinking and going down a slippery slope every single weekend because I'm not categorizing 22 year olds, but that's a majority of things that you do. You know, you go out on the weekend, you're at bars, you stay up late, you're eating pizza and then you wake up the next morning. And if you were in the process of trying to lose weight, you wake up and you're like, Oh my God, I did it again. I fell off track again. You know, and then the next week comes and you try to eat healthy and then you fall off again. That was me. So when my coach came in and said, Hey, let's try turbo jam, which this was, you know, 2009, that's like one of the first speech body programs. It's a really fun cardio kickboxing program. If you ever do it, you'll probably laugh because it's like very old school. But her sister created Turbo Jam, my coach Chanel. And so I started doing Turbo Jam. I started to lose weight. I started to feel healthy. Um, she convinced me to try Shakeology. If you guys haven't tried Shakeology, ask Christine about it. And I was a little bit of a Nazi with food, you guys. I have my degree in nutrition and I was like, no to protein bars, no to protein drinks. I'm not drinking any of that crap. Um, I went and researched Shakeology up the yin-yang and was like, okay, I need to make sure that this thing is legit because it's more than what I can afford right now. And I do want to be healthy. I want to do the best thing for my body. And so I started to check Shakeology out, couldn't find anything wrong, liked the taste of it, told her I'd give it two weeks. And really, you should give it 30 days, but I gave it two weeks, and I was hooked. I was like, okay, I don't know how I'm going to afford drinking Shakeology, but I do want it to be a part of my life. So she convinced me to sign up as what they call a discount coach. Okay, now Christine is not a discount coach. A discount coach is basically just signing up as a coach to get the discount. So I came in at your guys' age as a discount coach. Now, this is where I want you guys to really listen, Okay. I was so terrified of what other people would think about me, okay? I was watching all of these other coaches who were about my age or a little bit older succeeding in this business, and I was so terrified that my friends would unfriend me, or they would judge me, or they would make fun of me, or whatever, you guys, just for sharing my journey on social media. So I didn't pursue the coaching thing, okay? I was like, I'll sign up as a discount coach. I'm not going to do any of the stuff that you're telling me to do to build a business. And I sat back and I watched all these other coaches around me that didn't have anything that I didn't have crush this business, you guys. You know, I think of one in particular that is one of my good friends, and she lives in, you know, the way UP of Michigan, okay? Way up, way up. And so what I mean by that is it's a very small town, okay? And she didn't know very many people, and she signed up a week after me, and she crushed the business. She had a child at the time. She was engaged. She was able to quit her full-time job, pay off a crazy amount of debt, you know, move into this house, um, be home with her kid. And I thought, what the heck am I doing? I'm letting all of these insecurities about all these, you know, what people are gonna think of me possibly um, by just sharing my journey, hold me back from doing something that could be really impactful. Okay, not only for the fact that it can help me pay off debt, but she's changing lives. And what I mean by that, you guys, is I'm sure you guys see all the different products out there that are all promising quick fixes, right? They're like, you know, wrap your belly. I don't know if you guys have seen those It Works wraps. Like, no, okay? Or the ketosis where you can drink something and put your body in ketosis. Don't even let me go down that road because I will, I will legit talk for hours on that because I'm just, mm, don't get me going. But anyways. All these different quick fixes, you guys, when really what works is hard work, okay? You guys all graduated from college. I'm pretty sure, and I'm assuming, you guys studied, okay? And you tried your best to get the best grades so that you could graduate. You know that if you work hard, you can accomplish something, right? It's not easy. There's times where it really sucks, but in the long run, 
you get to succeed and you get to accomplish things that you never thought you could ever accomplish, you guys. And that's what this coaching business gives people, okay? It gives you an opportunity to make a huge impact in the lives of people around you. You know, as I'm talking, I want you to think of the people who are close to you, okay? Your parents, your friends, your siblings, you know, your aunts, your uncles, your grandparents. Think about their health, okay? When I really started getting into this business two years after I'd signed up as a discount coach, I looked at my parents, okay? And I'm the youngest of three girls. My, I was just telling Christine about this. My parents are 66 and 67 now, so they're getting up there, and I don't like thinking about that, but they are. Um, and I looked at them, and I thought, you know what? I want my parents to be around as long as I possibly can have them. I want them, even you know, when I was your guys' age, I want them to be around for my children because who knows when I was going to have children. And I know you guys are 22 and you're probably not thinking about children, but it's going to be down the road, you guys, or even just getting married, you know, or wanting to travel the world or doing different things, you guys. And this business can do that for you. Okay, so for me. It was about 2011, you know, two years after I had gotten into the business that I said, you know what, screw this. I'm going to start sharing my journey. All I'm going to do is start sharing my workouts and I'm going to start sharing what I'm learning about eating healthy and working out and the recipes that I like and, you know, just being a positive person on social media compared to all of these negative people around you, right? And so I'm like, okay, I am going to be that positive person. And little by little, I had people start coming to me, asking me what I was doing, asking me if I could help them. And it just started adding up, you guys. It started adding up. And I was working, you know, at two, in 2011, I was working as my coach's assistant. I was working at her little personal assistant with her business. I was working full time at a local YMCA um, as their exercise manager, making 20,000 a year. <laughs> it was like, oh, I have my master's in public health and I'm making nothing. <laughs> my coach is making per week in her business what I'm making in a year. This is not cool, you know? Um, and I was still finishing up my master's, you guys, okay? So I had a lot on my plate. I had a lot on my plate. I also had just met my husband, okay? So if you guys are new, newly dating or thinking about the future or whatever, okay? So you want to have a social life. You want to be able to do all these things. The cool thing about coaching is that you don't have to take a bazillion hours into it. You know, Christine can probably tell you, I bet she probably puts two or three hours a day into it, okay? Me, as a full-time coach, I put in five to six hours. That's my full-time job, you guys. Five to six hours, okay? And to be able to have that opportunity to create whatever kind of schedule I want as a full-time coach or a part-time coach, it's possible with this business, okay? And I want to circle back because I forgot to say something. <laughs> when you're looking at the people around you, you guys, I had a really good point and then I went off on a tangent. <laughs> when you're looking at the people around you, okay, I started talking about my parents. But you're looking at your parents, you're looking at your friends, you're looking at maybe the person you're dating, and you're like, you know what? They could really benefit from this. Like, they could really benefit from just eating healthy and working out and, you know, having supportive people around there. You can be that first person, you guys. I look at my family, and like I said, I am the daughter, I'm the youngest daughter of three girls, and I was the first person to dive into this. I was kind of like, you know, I got my degree in nutrition, so I was always kind of the freak of nature of the family. You know, they always called me the food Nazi, but, you know, my parents are drinking Shakeology now. They just went on a trip to Italy and forgot to take it with them, and my dad, who was like the last person to ever admit that Shakeology is cool, he's like, I missed Shakeology so much on the trip. I'm like, can I have that in writing? Like, that's crazy that you're saying that. My sisters are doing it. I just got a text message from my oldest sister, Corinne, who's like one of my best friends, and she's doing shift shop and following the meal plan, and she's like, I just fit back into my size eight, you know, and it's like just seeing the, the people around you that you love so much feeling better and having more energy with their children and my parents sticking around, and, you know, they treat Shakeology as their multivitamin, 
they do core to force together, you know, way less impact, but they do it together. My husband is on it. Like, it's just crazy that the impact that you can have just by starting your own journey. And to be a little selfish, you know, maybe you just want to start your own journey, you know, and you're like, yeah, you know what? Max said she gained 30 pounds in college. I gained some weight too, and I've just kind of been holding on to it. You guys, there's nothing wrong with wanting to feel better about yourself. There's absolutely nothing wrong about that, okay? There's nothing wrong with wanting to lose some weight. There's nothing wrong about putting yourself first and being that person that eats healthy and works out. Like, I remember being that odd man, right? My friends were like, oh, you're getting a salad, you know, or, oh, you're not going to eat the pizza, or you're not going to drink tonight, you know, and they're kind of judging you for eating healthy, and it's like, that is such a backwards world, you know, that is such a backwards world that someone could judge you for being healthy, it just doesn't make sense, okay, so now, now my friends are on board, you know, they're doing Queen Week with me and all that stuff, but you have to be that first person, okay, so let's for fast forward, okay, so, in 2011, when I was working my full-time job at the YMCA and going to school full-time, working for Janelle, just starting my relationship with my, my husband, which was my boyfriend, and it was like a new, fresh relationship, um, I was like, okay, this is when I'm going to make this business big. And I gave myself a year and a half, you guys. Okay, so think about that. A year and a half of treating this business like a business. And what do I mean by that? Devoting two or three hours a day, you guys to what we would be sharing with you guys. And we're not gonna teach you to knock down people's doors or what we call cold invite people where you just go out and invite everyone. No, it's all about building relationships and hopefully none of you guys have felt like Christine has hunted you down, okay? Um, we do it the right way, okay? So treating it like a business, I was able to walk away from that job at the Y, you guys. And I was making about, you know, so a year and a half of treating it like a business, I was able to make a 1000 to $2,000 a week, you guys. Think about that. Think about that. The age that you're at, 20, 22 years old, you guys, being able to pay that off or being able to, you know, make a thousand to two thousand dollars a week in a business that you actually love and something where you can, I didn't even put makeup on or do my hair, sorry you guys. I want you to see the real thing, but in sweatpants, okay? Like you can ask Christina, like we really have makeup on, you know, but just being yourself and just sharing your journey through health and fitness and helping other people have those same feelings you can make that much money, you know? And our business has grown crazy since then, you guys. We've been able to, so I, I quit my job and then we were able to, um, so that was in 2012 that I quit my job. In 2013, um, when my husband had in, uh, proposed to me, actually at a beach body event, um, we had, had earned a trip to Disney World and he, he proposed to me in front of Cinderella's Castle. That's crazy, right? Like, as a girl, aren't we all like, oh, he said to Ralph Castle, he did a good job. It was not planned. He knew that he was going to do it at Disney World, but not there. So he did a pretty good job. Um, but we were able to buy our first house in 2013 and pay that off. So pay the mortgage off of that by 2015. So two years into to living in that house. We've paid over $100,000 in debt. Um, we've been able to, so that was my student loans basically, you guys. Um, we were able to pay my parents, so my parents have three daughters, you guys are going to know that by heart by the end of this, but they paid for everyone's wedding, okay, and our wedding was a little more than what my parents had uh, put aside for it, so we were able to pay my parents back two weeks after the wedding, uh, the only reason it took two weeks is because we were in Hawaii, but we were able to pay that off, you know, so that my parents didn't have us weighing down on them. Um, we were able to, to pay with cash a honeymoon to Hawaii, you know, and to be able to build our dream house. You know, you can kind of see my bookshelves, but we built our dream house in 2016 and now we live in it. And I think probably the, the, the most important part, you guys, like the money, we've been able to pay off debt and go on all these trips and all that stuff, right? The most important part, and I know that you guys have probably thought about this before, is being able to be home with my daughter, okay? Yes, I'm a little older than you guys, and I had my first daughter when I was 29, and being able to be that person that wakes her up, okay, and gives her breakfast, 
and puts her down for a nap and gives her her bath and puts her in for bed and all that stuff, you guys, and just being there, being there because they grow so fast. I feel like I just had her. Okay. I literally feel like I just had her and she'll be two in November. Um, it just goes by so fast. And I don't know your guys's, um, your life and, and, the, the parents that you had and whether they worked or didn't work. But for me, I love my parents dearly, but they both worked, okay? They both worked a lot. Uh, my mom owns her own social worker practice, social working practice. And my dad was, uh, um, a, what was he? He worked in education. He was the dis uh, disciplinary guy. Um, but they worked a lot, so my sisters were the ones home with me. And I wanted to be that person for my children. I wanted to be home with them and not miss things, okay? And not that my parents missed a lot, but they weren't the ones doing my homework. They weren't the ones, you know, there after school with me. It was my sisters, you know, and I want to be that person for my children and my future children, okay? So you guys are still young. You have a chance to be able to do that, you guys, okay? My first paycheck, if I went all the way back, was $50, okay? $50, and then I probably had 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 50, okay? Like, it just, you know, it just started that way. And in 2012, when I walked away from my job, a year and a half into working the business, you guys, so think about that. It's 2017. By, like, the end of 2018 or 2019, being able to say that you're making $1,000 to $2,000 per week, you guys. And there's nothing special about me. There's nothing that... I have that you guys don't have other than the fact that I finally didn't care what other people thought. I finally said, you know what, I want to do something for me. I want to do something for my future. And I don't care what other people are going to think of me. Okay. Um, and then, you know, the business is just quadrupled <laughs> basically at this point. I don't even talk about money at this point because people are like, yeah, right. You know, we're just, we're making a, a lot of money. Okay. Um, but do you guys have the world in front of you at 22? Okay, and I know you guys are young and you don't want, want people to say that you're young, but you're young, okay? And like I said before, I'm assuming that you either have a boyfriend or girlfriend or you're single and all you have to worry about right now, you guys, really is yourself or maybe a dog, okay, or a cat or something like that, okay? You get to be selfish. You get to have the opportunity to build a million-dollar earning company, you guys. A million-dollar earning company, three to four years into treating this business, so Beachbody, as a business, you guys, meaning you're actually actively using the products, okay? So you're doing the workouts, you're drinking Shakeology, you're sharing your journey, um, running groups monthly, which we would help you guys, challenge groups. If you haven't joined a challenge group, make sure you talk to uh, Christine about this. I'll talk about it in a second. Um, and building a team, okay? So the reason that Christine invited you on here is because she thinks you'd be a good coach, okay? And she's like, okay, you know, let's, let's see if this is something that you want to give a try, right? Because honestly, you guys, at this age, it would be silly for you not to try it, okay? Lots of people, you know, go to school, we get this degree, and we're supposed to do this nine to five, okay? We're supposed to show up and sit behind a desk. I don't know how many of you guys have a job where you sit behind a desk, but I was the exercise manager, and I still sat behind a desk, okay? And I didn't feel like what I was doing was making an impact on the world at all, okay? And now I know that I'm making an impact on the world, right? Because I know in my challenge groups, you know, Christine was in one of them, being able to see the results people are getting from the workout programs, okay? Seeing how they feel after they drink Shakeology, seeing how they feel after eating healthy for two weeks, okay? I get to see those things in my clients that I know that I'm starting to contribute, and I have been contributing for, since 2000. 11 or 10, um, to the epidemic of obesity, guys. Like, it's not a fake thing. When you walk around, I want you guys to, you know, as you go about your days for the next couple days, okay, just look around. Look at how many people are either overweight or obese. How many people just are unhealthy? You know, look at what people are eating. Look at what people are doing. 
you're going to become more aware, okay, of the fact that just by you changing your life, it's going to have that ripple effect, okay? So think about what you could pay off for $100 per week, you guys. $100. You know, I tell coaches, you want to give yourself like six months, six months to start making $100 per week, okay? Six months of just showing up consistently. And you may be even making more than that, okay? But I tell you six months because this is a business where you're building relationships, you guys, and people are going to want to watch you before you actually start making money. And that's okay. That's normal, okay? With any business, you have to build it, okay? What about $500 per week, you guys? What about, you know, if you could put a year into it and you start making $500 per week? So that's $2,000 a month, you guys. I bet that's a pretty penny towards your student debt, right? What about $5,000? What about $10,000, you guys? What about $15,000 a week? I know at that, point, at that point, you're like, I can't even fathom that, right? Like, doesn't that kind of make you want to throw up? You're like, what? <laughs> that's crazy. People make that money? Yes, you guys. People make that money in this business, okay? And when I was your age, I knew that I did not want to be stuck, be stuck behind a desk or to start building someone else's dreams or to know that I only had a chance to make this much money, okay? Because that's the world that we live in, you guys, unfortunately. And I knew that in order to climb the corporate ladder, it was gonna take me you know, 15, 20 years to even make a, a fraction of what we've made in this coaching business, okay? That's real, you guys. It's not something to just say, yeah, maybe. No, like that's, that's what's happening. It happened for me, it's happened for coaches on our team, it's happened, happened for people in the network okay, that they've been able to build that kind of business, okay, and I knew that I wouldn't be satisfied with someone else dictating my schedule, okay, or telling me how many days I get to take for vacation, okay, or being able to be there for my sisters when, you know, they're, the one when her husband got sick, okay, and being able to be that, that person at home to be able to watch her children, okay, or to be able to run over to my parents when my mom broke her toe today, you know, like just being able to do that kind of stuff, okay, but you have to choose to do this, you guys, you have to make that choice and take that leap of faith because you trust Christine and hopefully you trust me, okay, um, but maybe you're still sitting there thinking, oh, I don't want my teeth. I'm like, look at me. You know, like you're like kind of nervous. You're kind of scared. You're like, I don't know what I got into. Christine, you're texting me like, what is this? Okay. You guys, we're not just going to make you sign up as a coach. Okay. We've, we talked about it and I really do believe the best coaches come from people becoming challengers. Okay. So I want you guys to, even if I gross up anything, you know, if you're like, oh, this girl's kind of kooky, but you know what, there are some things that I'm like, what, how is that even possible? Feel free to look at me on um, Facebook, it's Meg Kozlowski, I'll type it in a little chat, or you can ask Christine, I've got a weird name, but you know, you can follow me, add me as a friend on Facebook, look at my like page and just see, you know, you can kind of look at what I do. And you can see what Christine does. You know, we're not out there being those creepy salesy people that just post products everywhere. That drives me that doesn't work, you guys. It's all about sharing your journey, okay? So, like I said, you're gonna come in as a challenger. So, I know Christine has a cleaning week coming up, as well as a challenge group coming up. Talk to her, talk to her and say, okay, so what is this challenge group? What does it consist of? And know, guys, that this is something that, you know, go into the challenge group thinking about it as a business. Think about it as, okay, so I know that if I can stick to this meal plan and I can stick to the workouts with my crazy schedule of working and doing all these things and get results, then I can build this business because those are the habits. Those are the things that we like to see in people who can become successful coaches. I saw it in Christine very quickly, you know, within like two weeks of her being in my group said she just showed up and she has what it takes, you guys, because it really is something that you could grow like crazy, okay? And you guys have so much time. You have so much time. So on our team, you know, I like to share this stuff because I don't want to assume that people know. <clears throat> we were a top 10 team, you guys. And so you guys are 22 years old. 
when I was 26, okay, 26 years old, our team was in the top 10 of the entire network. Okay, the entire what network. Was it hard? Yeah, it was a lot of hard work. It made me hustle, but it was so worth it, you guys, because our team was able to, you know, be at the top, and, and um, you know, they recognized us at that, as that, and they take you on a trip, you guys, and this happens every single year. They take you on a trip to some cool location and pay for everything, okay? So at the age of 26, I had an all expense paid trip to Italy, okay? My husband and I were engaged at the time and we were able to go to Italy and live in, or, you know, stay in these giant hotels and like this beautiful, beautiful experience, you guys. Fly first class, like it was pretty, it was amazing, okay? And if I can shake anyone who has the chance to be able to do that, I want, I want to inspire you guys to do that because that's a, that's a chance of a lifetime and like I said at the beginning, there's nothing special that I have that you guys don't have other than I showed up and I hustled. Okay, so we were a top 10 team. We've been a top team, elite team for the last five years. Uh, this year will be six years. And then we're a multi-million dollar earning company or a earning team as well as our, we are the top ranked um, superstar diamond. So what that means, you guys, because you're probably like, it means that if you sign up as a coach, if you decide, you know, once you go through a challenge group with Christine and everything, or maybe you're like, maybe I just want to give this a go and I want to try it out. We're not going to fight you on that. Um, but you're not going to just be like thrown to the wolves. Okay. You'll have Christine. You'll have me. I run new coach trainings for you guys. I do as much as I possibly can. And I am not one of those micromanagers. Maybe you have a micromanager at your job. I'm your mentor. And you can ask Christine about that, that I'm there for you if you need me. Um, you guys would be signed up with her, but I would still be there to help you as much as I possibly could. And I just like to work with people who are motivated and inspired and ready to just hustle. Okay? So, if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask Christine and she can kind of translate it to me. Um, if not, you guys, thank you, Nicole and Shelby, for getting on. I know it's like uh, Monday. Is today Monday? What day is it? I don't know what day it is. I think it's Monday. I feel like they all blend together when you work from home, but it's especially when you got a kid. Um, but thank you for giving me some time on this Monday night, you guys. Hopefully, you don't think I'm too crazy. Um, but I, I really am very thankful that you hopped on because you know if someone would have approached me at 22 years old I mean my coach did but she didn't approach it this way <laughs> if she would have approached it like this and shared the fact that I could literally change my life and other people's lives just by becoming a coach and sharing my journey journey and doing the best I could to help people I would have been like sign me up I'm game tell me what to do and I'll go you know because that's kind of the, this business. So, Christina, I don't know if you want to say anything or. Yeah, just thanks for um, hopping on. And uh, I hope, like Meg, helped answer any questions you guys might have had. And thank you, Meg. I really appreciate it. <laughs> absolutely. Absolutely. I know. Time. Yeah. On your Monday night. <laughs> Absolutely, guys. I'm going to go watch The Voice now with my husband and my daughter. My husband just got back or, uh, home from work, so I'm going to go chill out. But thank you for getting on, you guys. Feel free to add me as a friend on Facebook. Christine, I'll talk to you later. All right.